Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into Miss Angela's Spirit. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Angela, for coming on to the show and tuning in with us. Where are you calling from? From New York. New York. Angela, I'm seeing a cat curled up next to you on a bed. And when you curled up alongside of one another, you just felt their presence and heard them purring. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. And I get the sense that you still do, despite the pet not being there. Yeah. Do you get the impression that sometimes it's still present with you? Sometimes. Yeah. But I just don't know if, like, with my mind, you know? <laughs> I know. That's what a lot of people think. But that's the spirit's presence still with you and still impressing upon you because they know you're grieving their loss. But this particular kitty loved the light and laying in the light because it made them feel warm. Do you remember this? Yeah. And that's where it is right now. And they want you to know they're totally safe and secure. And they're still by your side because they know you're grieving. And it's not your mind that's making up tricks. This is what mediums do. We make those connections because we can sense the spirit. We can feel them. We can hear them. So if you hear the purr, that's your kitty right next to you. Have you had more than one cat, honey? Yeah, I had another one that like lasted it was 18, but that was like 20 years ago. Oh, that was 20 years ago. But they're still around you. And here's the other thing that I get is the cat is a spear guide. And cat spear guides about intuition. You're opening it up right now and really sensing it. And when we have a domestic cat, it's about making our intuition feel more comfortable and part of our life and really embracing it and not fearing it anymore. So that's what this beautiful spirit gave to you in that manner. Okay. And here's the other thing. If you haven't already, I understand that this cat tells me you're going to go get another cat if you haven't already. I already have another cat. Uh huh. I actually, I had a cat and I got her because I felt that that my other cat was home alone. But it was very hard on me. It was like three months of separation because my first cat is very territorial. And I don't want to go through that again. Well, they say the best medicine sometimes is another animal. And, you know, were you trying to hide one or the two animals from somebody at one point from other people? Why do I get the impression you were trying to hide them? I had to keep them separate. That's what they told me if I brought a new cat. Oh. So that's why I said it was very hard on me to keep them separate. I had to spend time upstairs and then downstairs. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's just to confirm, though. Maybe it's another relocation or something like that, but you're going to have another animal. So when I hear hiding, that's just to confirm the message that another animal will come into your life and also your intuition's opening and you have to embrace it. So that's all this is about. And I'm very sorry for your loss. I know that you're grieving. That little baby's right next to you still. So she's out with God and Jesus and heaven? Oh, yeah. Um, she can be in all places all at once. Spirit is okay. that. Spirit is bigger than our physical being. And so your little being is right next to you right now because it's feeling the grief. But you will welcome another little one into your life when the time's right. Thank you for sharing your time with me, Angela. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. And if you'd like to call into the show like Angela, sign up at radiomediumlaurelee.com. And you can tune into your spirit each and every day by subscribing to the podcast on your favorite forum. And please rate it and share it with your friends and family. And hey, join me in the conversation at Facebook Radio Medium Laura Lee Group. I would love to hear from you. Semi was in the center lane and just turned right in front of us. Decided I needed to get a hold of an attorney. Never really heard anything from this attorney for two years. Decided I couldn't use him no more. I contacted Konoski Bresny. I mean, he did more in two weeks than that other attorney did in three years. Uh, I could definitely not have done this on my own if it wasn't for Todd. Mm, sorry. <laughs> he changed my life. Why do you need a personal injury lawyer? Hi, I'm Todd Bresney of Kanoski Bresney. When you are harmed, insurance companies should compensate you fully and fairly. But they're in the business of caring about their own bottom lines and not about your losses. At Kanoski Bresney, we get your worth. 
For close to 50 years, we've been your hometown attorneys. So call Konoski Brezny at 888 the letter U, count and the number two, or see me on the web at bresnylaw.com. It won't cost you a thing to see if we can help.